Morena, boys and girls, lovely to see you. It's so wonderful to have you at with us at preschool. It's just lovely. lovely. And the boys and girls, of course, too. I know. It's so, really, really cool. So lovely. Now, what shall we sing? Morena. Morena? Let's do that. boys and girls if mummy's got a kuma that's left over because they, they are very precious yeah. get mummy or daddy to pop, pop that kuma into some water and you'll be able to watch too and see if, if those, you can get those little roots, roots as well. to start so mm -hmm. roots always come out always come out first and then the little shoot will come out and when we had that we planted the little beans yeah and the roots came down ah uh, yes because it was on my up. video long long ago yep. steve put, planted the little little seed and then the root came down and then the shoot went up because a shoot needs goodies from what from the not just the seed no. but also from what's water. it water from yeah. the water that's inside all it. the nutrients and oh, so we're soil. Yeah, or oh, soil. Yes. If it's in the soil, definitely. If this was in soil, that mm. would be different. It's very good. It's in the water. Yeah, surely mm. is. So we're waiting now for one of these little nodules to shoot out a little shoot. Mm. So yeah. watch the space, but we can see something is already happening, which is very exciting. Soon we'll have a plant all over the preschool, winding round. They grow very fast once they get going, don't they? They do, do. once they start. Yeah, and they make a beautiful house. And those roots are sucking up all that water. Yeah. What you've got to do though, you've got to make sure you keep it topped up. That's the trick. If, if it, it dries, dries out, out, the roots will go, what? They'll all shrivel. Will it be able to grow with no water? No. No. That'll be sad. I've got something else to show you. Our little carrot top. And our little carrot top's not just got one palm tree, or two, it's got about three or four now. So it's growing beautifully as well. Can you see that, Paris? Bring it a bit closer. Here we go. There we go. Can you see the little shoots have come up there? So that's really cute too. These are really fun to grow on your window ledge. And all you need to do is cut off a carrot top and put it on the edge of some cotton wool, or I've used a paper towel. And again, if you keep it topped up with water, it'll keep growing. If you let it dry out, it'll die off. And so the best thing, boys and girls at home, or boys and girls at preschool, that's the top part of the carrot that you don't eat. So it's not wasting. It's not wasting that vegetable. It's just you a bit eat. of fun. Yeah, it's fun. You can eat the bottom of it and keep yep. the top. And grow it, and you can grow them in your window ledge. They look mm, really pretty. That's lovely. That's pretty cool, eh? Right, now you've got some very special cards. I have. That looks interesting. Because we've been talking all about... What? Vegetables. vegetables, we certainly have, and I've got some cards with some really cool pictures of veggies that we can have a look at and see if you can name some of the veggies. 
I've got some really interesting ones here, not just your normal ones, but I've got some different ones. Because Mary, we've only looked at a few vegetables we and a few grains. Like carrots and but there are hundreds of different vegetables. So vegetables. many. I mean, I've got plenty here, yeah. but it's just a few. I wonder if some of them you might recognise. Should we play a little game? Okay, I'm going to hold it up and then, boys and girls, you can play too at home. And see if you can, if you're at home, you can call it out. You might have to do that closer so that boys and girls are home. Do you think they can see? Can they see there? Okay. So, I'll hold it up. If you're at home, you can call it, call it out. But if you're preschool you need to put your hand up and I'll say your name. Good game? Are you ready? I'm gonna mix it up. Ha, tricked ya. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Oh. oh, carrot. Oh. Hang on, no, I haven't said any names. The boys and girls at home are calling out carrots. What do you think it is, Brooke? Carrot. Excellent. Okay. Oh, you know this one too. You know, boys and girls at home. Make sure no one calls out at preschool. Meadow, what is it? Corn. Absolutely, we know about corn. And that, that oh, one's just got the... I was going to say, that's got the, sh the oh, ears the, around it, hasn't the, it? Um, the ears. Mm. Oh, the ears around it. You can see that one there. Well done, Meadow. That was good. Now, let's get a bit tricky. Because there's some really unusual vegetables. I like this one. You can call that out at home, but I'll show the boys and girls at preschool as well. Oh, oh, people are calling out. out. I pick Evie. It's not pickles, but good guess. What is it? Asparagus. Asparagus. It's a hard one to say. Yeah. Can we all try and say it? Asparagus. asparagus. They're all calling out asparagus at home, Linda. Go yay. Well done. Go yay. Okay, let's see if I can find another tricky one. Uh, oh, this is a fave. <gasps> Everybody loves these. Just hold them up to the boys and girls at home. And a nice. Oh, not sure. Does anybody know? Franklin? Yeah. Starts with a B. Ruff, ruff, like that. Broccoli. Oh, people calling you. Sounds like broccoli. No, it's not broccoli. Nobody knows. The boys and girls at home are calling out Brussels sprouts, Linda. Oh, Did you hear that? Yeah, you're right. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Can you say that? Brussels sprouts. Can you say that? Yeah. Brussels sprouts. sprouts. And they're so yummy. Do you love Brussels sprouts, Linda? Yes, I eat them because they're so good for me. Yeah, that wasn't the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I love Brussels sprouts. They're lovely I love with them gravy roasted. On. I love them <laughs> anyway. You can have them, but mm. I'm a bit of a fan of veggies. Okay, we'll do one more, shall we? Mm -hmm. One more. Boys and girls at home can have a look uh, first. Ah, uh, stop People calling you. At preschool have to put their hand up. And I pick Eric. Capsicum, you are spot on, and the boys and girls are home you as well. And capsicums come in all kinds of different colours, don't they? Can you name one of the colours? Who can name the colour? Um, an ace? Green. Yep, they come in red. What's another colour? Green. Um, meadow? Green. Yellow. Yellow. What's another colour, Franklin? Green. Uh, Sorry? Green. Yep, we've got green, yellow, and red, and... What's this colour here? Orange. Orange, that's right. They come in many colours. I've even seen ones in deep, deep purple as well, mm. which I tried to grow and it got to about this big. Yeah, bit of a fail. But there you go. So there's heaps well, we of We might play, the game. I play that game tomorrow. We right? can play it again and again. It's really fun. Mm. Just um, being aware that there are tons of different vegetables, aren't there? Yeah. Heaps and heaps so of them. Many. And they're all good for us. They are. We know that one, don't we? can call it out now. What is yeah. it? Potatoes. Yeah, there we go. So, that's a good game. It is a fun game. Right, yeah, boys nice. and girls, we're going to sing about a flower today because so many of our vegetables need a flower before they become a vegetable, before vegetables so they grow. grow. And even like our little sweet corn here, it needed these beautiful tassels or flowers to grow before boys and girls, these corn on the cob could grow. But we're going to be talking about another special thing that we can eat that grows on the plant in a minute. But before mm. we do, we might sing about, we might sing this song because this talks about the flower is really important because what does the flower make? Mm. Does it? I think the leaves make the 
So we've got to start off with the little what at the bottom? Roots. Roses that we painted, or um, was lovely Paris did the roses, didn't you? And we're going to look at those pictures soon because they've got neat. something really special that just make them pop. So we're going to have a look at that with Paris tomorrow. So, but look, what's that part of the plant? I know. What is it? Flower. Yes. Flower. Absolutely. The flowers on the plant. Her fingers work much better than mine oh, do. I'd love to help. But we're going to be talking about something really special this week. Now these, who can tell me what this is? Apple. Is an apple a vegetable? Yeah. No. no. What is it? It's a fruit. It's a piece of fruit. Now I think we might be able to track some of the mummies and daddies. Let's give it a go. Is an avocado a fruit or a vegetable? Vegetable. Good, good thinking, but actually it is a fruit. And we can tell often whether something is a piece of fruit because inside a fruit, what do you think is hiding yes. inside? Seeds. So a lot of vegetables have a flower with seeds, but a lot of fruit have a flower, and then the flower got... Go, we're going to be talking about this a bit later tomorrow too. But the flower grows into a beautiful piece of fruit. Yeah. But inside the fruit, there are seeds. seeds. Shall we yeah. cut one open, Mary? Yep, let's have a look. Now this is only a tiny, tiny avocado. It's really, really tiny. Usually they're a bit bigger, aren't they? But this is a homegrown one. So Tastes it's pretty lovely, special. Yeah. Tastes lovely. Mm. So I wonder what we'll, have, we'll find inside. You think we'll find a nice juicy avocado? What colour is avocado? Green. What green. is it? Green. Green. It's that beautiful green colour. Yeah. So there's green inside. And the skin's black. And the skin's sort of blacky purpley colour, sort of greeny. Yeah. But inside there's not only the lovely, lovely green flesh, but. Here we go. Open up, open up, open up. Inside is oh, she got it right. Oh, that's a bit tight. Hang on. She's finding it hard. It must be a very uh, not a right one. No, one I don't think it's quite ready yet. It's all right. Let's try that one. I think we'll be able to get it open under. 
Oh, it's gonna be go. strong. I hear it go pop. And look inside, it's a beautiful green avocado and a big, oh, yeah. a massive seed. Look at that. It's a very big seed. Not much avocado in there, but very yummy. Boys and girls, where do you think the seed is inside an apple? What do you think? Um, in right middle. in the middle, like I just said, absolutely. Do you think the seed, or is it going to have lots of seeds, or one seed? Do you think they'll be as big as that seed? No. What do you reckon? Three. Brock, what do you think? Three seeds. You think three seeds? And they'll be right in the middle. Let's Will they be big like this? If she's right. No, Brock okay. said definitely not. She no. thinks they're going to be little. Okay, well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. That's my videographer here. Chop, 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 chop. And, oh, look. Look. Little tiny. Tiny, tiny, little. No, there's only two. Oh, there might be one around the back. But there might be another half to the apple, too. Oh, forgot about the other half. <laughs> So Brooke might be right, but she, uh, she hypothesised, didn't she? She did, that was a really good guess. I can't mm. see any seeds in this half, so they all seem to be here. And this two. poor apple has only got two. Maybe there's some more deep down. No. Would you describe those as big or small, boys and girls? Small. They are, they're quite tiny. When aren't you they? compare it to this, <laughs> they're really tiny, aren't they? Wow, mm. look at that. But with those... They, the seeds don't just fall off like our grains. They're actually inside a beautiful piece of fruit. Yeah. Amazing, Amazing, isn't it? Mm. So that makes this a fruit rather than yes. a vegetable. Yes. Tricky Isn't stuff. That special? Well, I've had a special request for a song that we sang oh, quite a few weeks ago. And it's about a beautiful girl and she's got a garden. And what's her name? Mary! That lovely, <laughs> lovely Mary. Mary. Okay, and I wonder if Mary's got some fruit trees growing. Oh, I'm sure she has. I think she will. And I know that Mary Ann's going to be um, teaching us a poem tomorrow about fruit. You know, the mm. ones up the top, very, very high and very, very big, and we can't get them. So we need to get a ladder, because there's some yummy avocados up high at their place. So. Okay, so boys and girls, this week we're going to be talking about fruit, and we've got some amazing fruit to, to show you, and also some pictures to show you about fruit that grow in an unusual way. But most fruit grow on a special fruit tree, and all fruit is good for you. Absolutely. It's, they are like vegetables. We need to have them in our lunchbox. We need to eat them at home if we're hungry. Uh, apple is the best treat to have. I, I, when my boys, boy and girl were little, they get, they'd get hungry and they'd always be able to help themselves to an apple because it's always very, very good. So it's good really for good for you and it tastes really yummy too. And, it's and that's so unusual. Things mm. that are really, really good for you taste ah. yummy. <laughs> and we're going to find out some really, really yummy uh, fruit. I'll give you a clue. Some of our boys and girls have something little that's red <gasps> with a little green top and there's lots of little seeds on the outside. And you can, go, you can go picking them, can't you? You can go, yes. I know that Harvey's family's been picking strawberries. Oh, what? Mary Ann told you. Anyway, we're going to find out about <laughs> those beautiful, <laughs> delicious strawberries and we're going to find out about some other fruit. Amazing. Okay, until tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Au revoir. Bye.